want to highlight you guys a bit about building relationships. Now, I'm not talking about the guy-girl relationship, falling in love, whatever. I'm talking about just relationships in general. You know a guy, you can connect it to a guy who knows another guy, and so on and so on. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a skill that is quite important generally in life. Um, you're going to need some stuff somewhere, you're going to need some help somewhere, you're going to need some resources to which you do not particularly have access. And for you to get those, you might need to contact someone who does have those resources or does have access to those resources. Someone who can get to someone who does have access to those resources. So, I personally don't think I'm bad at building relationships. I don't particularly know anyone who despises me, who I've interacted with, who doesn't like me. I mean, I don't know, maybe there is and they just don't tell me to my face, but so far the relationships I have, people seem to, you know, take a good liking to me and that's good. I know whenever I need something from that person, I may just get it. It's also a bit of a difficult thing to build that sort of relationship where you know from this person you can get that thing that you want. And it won't be everyone from whom you can get something. I mean, some some people you know them, but I mean you can't ask them for like money. And even if it's just like five friends, but like, yeah, dude, we, 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 you don't know me like that. You can't be asking for money from me. I mean, come on. But then there are some people that you know, like, you know what, if I need this money from this guy, he, he, he'll, he'll lend it to me or he'll give it to me. And I wish that I could be able to take it a step further, a couple of steps further, in fact, so that I can be able to, like, you know, fund some of my businesses or um, get some resources that I currently don't have because if I knew people who had those things or I knew people who knew people who maybe knew people who had those things, some things would be easier and better for me because then I just say, hey, look, I need this. And, oh, okay, no, I know this person who can get this and this person can get this. At the end of the day, that thing that you needed done gets done and someone helps you out and that relationship is built by someone helping you out. But another thing that's important in building relationships is being accountable. If you're not an accountable person, it's going to be hard for you to build a relationship. If I say, let's do this thing, let's meet, be there for me at 10 p.m. and 9.55 you're not there, I mean, okay, sharp, maybe be there at 10 exactly, but if at least you know you're not going to make it, 9.45, at least let me know. Um, 9.30, it can be a good time to let me know, like, look, I'm not going to be at there at 10. It seems like I'm being delayed. Uh, can we try and make it 10.30 or something like that? That shows accountability. That shows that not only do you respect your time and try to do things, you know, timely, you respect my time and you respect me as a person that you'd be able to tell me that, look, I know we agreed that we'd meet at this time, but it seems I'm not going to be able to make it. So can you please meet at this alternative time? Does that work for you? That shows a mutual respect and that helps in building a relationship. There are people that I know are accountable that if I say, dude, I'm going to jump off a cliff at 10 p.m. You must have a trampoline at the bottom of that cliff at 10 p.m. If I look at 9.55 and there's no trampoline down there, at 10 o'clock I am going to jump because I know that that person is reliable. They are going to be there for me. They will come. They will honor our agreement. And even if at 9.55 they're not there yet, I can guarantee that by 10 o'clock they will have done it. If not, they would have told me already that, look, that thing you asked me to do, I won't be able to do it. You know, because that's part of the accountability process thing. You, When you realize that you can't do something anymore, let a person know. Tell them, like, look, um, I know I said I'd do this at this time, but, you know, I can't do it anymore. So I know that my friend who I trusted to put a trampoline there, if he hasn't called me to tell me he was, he was not able to put the trampoline there, that means he was able to put a trampoline there. And having relationships like that is important because, as in my example, it can, can be the difference between life and death, but that's generally not the situation. But you do need to have people on whom you can rely. And when you yourself are reliable and people can rely on you, 
people will try as well to be reliable to you in that they realize okay this guy has done this for me the time that i needed it so then if they need something let me return the favor because i know that this is a symbiotic relationship we are both going to benefit from this so build relationships and be an accountable person don't just think that ah he's not serious he doesn't mean that we should meet at 10. oh you said we should meet at 5. Eh, i'm gonna get there at 5 30. he'll wait don't do that it's just it's not how business works it's not how life should work a lot of time a lot of money is lost in 30 minutes and time is money so then you lose like money squared i don't know just be accountable man or woman just be accountable